Hey, Mom! Hey! Oh, hi! Oh! Oh! So, how did it go? Tell me how it went in the UK. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was good. It was, uh, strange. Strange how? I don't know. It just wasn't exactly what I expected. It was good, though. It was good. It was, yeah. Oh, okay, good. well, mm -hmm. um, I got you something to celebrate the Chicago thing. <laughs> okay. What's this, Mom? They were your fathers. Oh, Honey, you'd be God. so proud. Oh, thank oh. you. Oh. <laughs> so, did you meet anyone out there who could inspire you or teach you? Meet any famous coaches? Mm. Oh, there was this one guy. Oh, so the doctor described to me what had happened. I had what he called a broken ankle. That wasn't the worst of it. When I was in hospital, I picked up the norovirus, MRSA, pneumonia. I was out of it for three days. That's the stress of top level management. Good evening, everyone. Thanks so much for coming to the 131st and last New Haven Football Club Awards Dinner. This is a very sad day for two reasons. One, we're losing our football club, the hub of the community for over 100 years. I look out in the crowd and I see so many familiar faces, not just the kids from the teams, but all the faces that have been touched by this club over the years. I want you all to know that we tried our best to save the club. We just couldn't. I didn't have the money. I have a few people I'd like to thank before we get on with the awards. Firstly, I'd like to thank the players for all your hard work this year. And I'd like to thank the parents who volunteered every Sunday. I'd like to thank the team sponsors, the local butchers. And finally, I'd like to thank the managers for all their dedication to the team. And that brings me to reason number two. Last week, we almost lost our longest serving manager, Bob Riley. Now, I know many of you think Bob's a bit of a tit, and I do agree with you, but you can't deny his dedication to the club over the years. A round of applause for Bob. <laughs> now, I'm pleased to say that Bob, although weak, is doing fine, and his son, Clive, has got a speech prepared. Okay, guys, settle down. Okay, so uh, the reason I came back here tonight was uh, I want to say something. I want to talk to you about Bob, and not just because of what happened the other day. So I've never met anyone like Bob before. You know, we don't have Bobs in the U.S. and. I know some of you struggle to see the good in him, but trust me, he's a special guy. And he loves this team. So I was doing a bit of digging and do you know who's been sponsoring the kids' jerseys for the past 10 years? No? Bob. Bob Riley spends thousands of dollars every season on these kids, and well, he can't afford it. I mean, geez, the guy delivers pizza for a living. So look, I've got to go now, but before I do, before I head home, there's just one last thing I want to say.
This is a check for $35,000. And it's for you guys. It's for these kids. And it's for Bob. So here's to you, New Haven FC. Here's to next season. Oh, just one more thing. We thought we'd lost him. It was terrifying. He's supposed to be going to this awards thing on Saturday and giving a speech, but I've said he can't go. I'm insisting he's got to stay in bed all week. And anyway, I'm not pushing him all the way down there, sod that. Well, I'd like to have gone, obviously. It's the last time we'll all be together. I seized the ground yesterday. Bailey's from today, by all accounts. Brittle bone related abandonment. Nope. Complete waste of time. everyone, it's Bob Riley. Um, welcome to my Indie Starter campaign to turn next season's attempt to win promotion into the greatest football documentary of all time. Much better than that rubbish you've just watched. Um, we've got loads of perks to give away. Uh, we've got uh, match day tickets, footballs, um, we've got signed bags of pasta. There's a lot, there's a lot of that. You can have that. Um, anyway, if you want to see more of me and my brand new assistant manager, Donate now and make it happen. Pardon? Who's my brand new assistant manager? Hold on. Come in and say hello. <clears throat> Chicago can wait. Don't look down on me. Is it because you're so tall? 